Honey, come on, what are you doing? Let's wait, go. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. <laughs> when Wayne Rooney was sent off in the World Cup quarter-final against Portugal, many experts were predicting the end of Cristiano Ronaldo's career at Old Trafford and the breakdown of a friendship given the winger's role in Rooney's dismissal. Not so. The pair combined for 31 goals last season as United won the title. The expectation was for them to carry on in the same vein this season. But in United's opening league game against Reading, Rooney broke his foot for the third time in three years, forcing him to miss United's last five league games, during which time they've struggled to score. Ronaldo compounded the poor start by being sent off against Portsmouth. Nevertheless, the two superstars were in buoyant mood when we caught up with them at United's training ground. Hair straight, time to take it away, boys. <laughs> Who's the best player at the club? <laughs> it's difficult. You have, you have many you players. Have so. <laughs> you have many players. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoy here. I'm think uh, I'm in a great team. I'm enjoy with the great players, fantastic players. I think everyone is it's a great. I'm enjoy here in the club. my life, you know, I live for football, so, you know, it's, um, it's, it's great that I can come in and play football every day as a job, so I'm really pleased and, you know, I'm grateful for that. The, the Premier League is, is a fantastic, uh, great football, a great atmosphere, great supporters, and I think this is, this is amazing. I think the, the football here in England, it's, it's unbelievable, it's magnificent. They have the best music. I don't know, it's different because everyone puts different on. Um, Ronnie keeps mad at me before every game, put Michael Jackson on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best trainer in the club? Um, the best trainer, I'd say, probably Scalzi. He's a great trainer, you know, um, he trains well every day and Ron, you're, you're not far behind you. <laughs> I think nowadays you've got to be um, really fit, you've got to be like an athlete and, you know, um, to go from junior football to senior, it, it does take a while to adapt, to adapt to it and, you know, um, that's why all your training in your early days um, comes to use when you're, when you're professional. You need to put your concentration there. Uh, only in uh, your career uh, to do well, to up the team, and outside this, I think is not is not the most important. Who is the biggest joke in the dressing room? Well, you have a few. Um, maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> I get on with everyone at the club. It's a close club, you know. Everyone gets on with everyone. Everyone has banter with all different players and. Ronnie's, uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's a good lad. Ronnie, he's, um, we get on really well. We've got a good friendship. Everyone uh, tried to to do a few jokes in the dressing room. I think it's a amazing, it's friendly dressing room. And um, you see, in the pitch, uh, the result is in the pitch because the team is win. Who's the worst dress in the dressing room? <laughs> I think the worst dressed in the dressing room. <laughs> there's, there's a few. I think. <laughs> probably Louis. Louis. Probably Louis Mahal. Not just Louis. So um, one or two more. Louis. Uh, probably Pat. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> I think he's the best. No, it, Pat thinks he's not bad. He thinks he's the best, but he's um, too much. He, yeah, he, he's okay, but he likes his labels too. <laughs> A revealing insight into life behind the scenes at Old Trafford, courtesy of the Ronnie and Rooney Show. From two sharp dressers, Ian Dark and me, Marcus Buckland, goodbye.